Hey you guys, it's your girl Ayoko Beauty and I'm doing a get ready with me today. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so you guys, I bought this hair with my own monies from Tanache. And I think I got like a 18 inch and I ended up cutting it some more. It is a five by five closure and it's transparent lace. I don't think it's HD. It was pretty good to work with. Um, I'll probably get HD next time, but as you see, it's really well constructed. I was really impressed with the hair. It was nice and silky. It is a color brown. And as you know, like I wear only jet black or maybe highlight from time to time. So I went ahead and I watercolored that. So now I'm just going to put my wig cap on and I'm laying my edges down just in case the wind blows up or you don't want your edges to be looking crazy or nothing. And I don't do the um, ball cap method just because I'll be taking this wig on and off and I just put some um, foundation on the wig and I'm just adjusting it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add more powder to the lace and to the um, cap just to get that situated. Now I'm just going to use my liquid bow hold. As you see, that thing is rusty and crusty because that is a holy grail item for me. I don't really use lace glue unless like I'm keeping my wig down for a long time. And I'm putting through two to three layers just because I want it to at least stay for the week. So the wig is like laid down, but I'm just like securing it and um, kind of just pushing it into my forehead. And once it's dry, I'm going to kind of reinforce it with some got to be glue spray to kind of like melt it. I usually use um, my Ibn spray, but I was out of it and I did not feel like going out to the beauty supply. So yeah, I'm just spraying a couple layers to kind of like secure the melt. And then I'm going to tie it down, blow dry it some more. Always use like cool heat when you're blow drying it because you don't want it slipping and sliding everywhere. Or you could just use like a mini fan. I, my mini fan actually broke and I feel like that's what works best. It dries super quick with those mini fans that you could get from um, Amazon. So this is basically like the finished product. I did go in and cut it some more. I'll like insert pictures later. And I just went ahead and tied my um, my elastic band to just secure it while I'm getting my makeup done. And yeah. So next, like I'm just going to put on my lashes. Um, this is like your basic. Well, I like them. They kind of give me like, like you went to the shop and got your eyelashes done, but at home. And I just don't see the point of buying lashes. I know I keep waving it around, but yeah, I'm just going to, I doubled these. And then I'm just going to go in and stick them on. I've been letting them like get tacky with the glue. And I use this duo adhesive. This is the best one in my opinion. Because the rest of them, they give like, I don't know, the consistency, like it sticks. Like your lashes ain't going nowhere. I think I just want to add to make this a bit smoky, so I'm just gonna dot some on here. Okay, there you go. 
So you see, it's not like a smoky eye, but it's just more sultry. Next, I'm gonna go in with like my handy dandy LA Pro Grip, LA Pro Conceal um, in the color orange corrector. So, you know, as a deep dark skinned girl, you need to make sure like your complexion is A1. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Magic Touch Concealer and just highlight. I'll highlight first and then put foundation where I need to put it, so. This isn't like a tutorial. I can go more in depth like in another video, but I guess I can explain along the way, I guess, I don't know. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Like, I love this. And I even love it more in colder weather, so it kinda like keeps your skin hydrated as well. I'm only putting like three dots on my face. Like, I don't use a lot of foundation, as you see. Like, kinda just use it as a, and I'm just going in with like this foundation brush from BH Cosmetics. People sleep on them. They really had good products. I mean, people didn't rate them like that, but they have. So you see how like, I kind of go around it and slightly on top of the areas. I kind of want a little bit more brightness, so I'm gonna add more. This is Huda. Um, she's slightly matte, a demi-matte. I just want it because my T-zone gets oily, so I'm just gonna put it there. going with like her older beauty beauty um concealer because it's a light super light color and i kind of want that highlighted look only like in the areas that literally like a dot but you don't want to get carried away with this I set my face with this Jaclyn Hills Cosmetics um, brush, but um, powder, whatever. And I'm really like taking brushing off the excess. And Next, I'm going in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze and Prodigy. Like, I'm so sad that they, they discontinued this. Like, this was the best bronze, especially for like brown skin girls.
and I contour my nose with my powder like contouring with the like you do not want to be looking crazy out here so I'm going to use this Morphe to widen like my eyes. Sorry, this Morphe pencil and um, what's the color called? Toots. And I'm gonna carve out my jawline with this Beauty Bakery flower in the shade Almond Chestnut. I do this cause it's closer to my skin tone. a different lot of products but this is how I get the look I wanted so I know it looks crazy right now but when you see the finished look you're gonna see it Can use other lips and smoke my line out.
So I went in with this middle color and I'm gonna go out with this color because it's lighter and then tap it with a bit of orange. So I'm gonna like have a nice little contrast. And I will do my inner. This is just some fine from the beauty supply. I usually go on with um, one size. No, this is actually wet and wild. Yeah, they have really good brush, um, really good liner. Yeah, this is not a good highlighter day. <laughs> it is what it is. And like I covered up with all this makeup you see, I covered up my beauty mark on my face so where is it I'm going in with like a warmer shade. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Vixen. So in order for your stuff, your liner to stay all day, literally tap it with a bit of powder or excess, then go over it one more time. in the color Rose the Day.
Okay, so now I just have to add mascara like y'all starting to see the look coming on. And blush. You can't forget blush. But I'm going to use this. I kind of like the tones I'm going with. So I'm going to use like a light orangey shade. Mix that with it. Depend how I feel if I want to go deeper. And I'm going to bring that up to my cheekbone. But then the trick is kind of make it look more So yeah, that's pretty much it for it. And I'm just gonna put like some highlighter. This is like an old palette. I probably should have thrown away by now, but I'm not. <laughs> like, y'all remember this? It's the OGs. I just started using this again. I usually use just the Anastasia liquid one. And I just like to go over it because I don't I like it to shine within the skin. So and then I'm just gonna go over it. my bronzer. And she's looking like a dog. So you guys, I'm just gonna like come back on camera, straighten my hair out, and then that's it. And y'all saw I just have to straighten out my edges, the bottom of my earrings on, and we're done. I forgot to do like a whole like a whole um, outfit of the day so basically what I have on is this vest it's giving like Rick Owens feel and then I have on these like boots it's funny cuz these boots I have on if you can't see them in the frame cuz my ass is super tall um, I got these boots last year and it's funny Prada just came out there with their own version <laughs> So I guess it's a dupe for Prada or a dupe for Shoe Dazzle, whichever one, but yeah, they're super cute. They have like a little um, pocket on the boot, super cute. Then I just have my purse to match. I don't know. I think the sling around may kind of clash with my outfit, so I think I'm just going to carry it like this. So yeah, that's what I have for today. And the bob is bobbing. And yeah. That's my outfit for today. So I ended up just cutting it a few more inches and then just kind of hot combing it more towards my head so it can look more natural. And I would give this hair a 7 out of 10. And it, I don't know, it's, a, it's some good hair, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>